how to connect a domain to shopify hey guys welcome back in this video i'll be showing you guys how you can connect your own personal domain to shopify so let's get into it now one question you might think before you're looking to connect your domain is where am i supposed to buy one well there are multiple different domain marketplaces out there right now one of the most popular one is GoDaddy. GoDaddy has some great domains available for most people, and I do think for most consumers, GoDaddy is going to be a good enough store to help you find a domain name. You can go on to GoDaddy over here and search for any kind of domain that you want. Let's say I want to search for Dirt In because that is the name of my Shopify store. Now you guys can see there are multiple different domains available. Dirtin.live is available, and there are some premium domains available some promoted domains which are being promoted by the particular by godaddy as well so in this way you can find a good domain for you and you can just put it in your card and purchase it via your credit card or debit card and godaddy also gives you some great renewal plans as well so their initial offering is usually a whole lesser than the renewal plans but the renewals aren't really that expensive and that can be a great way for you to just test out the domain for a year test out your brand test out your business and then later on choose whether or not you would want to actually purchase this for the second year now to get started with connecting your domain to your shopify store you're gonna have to log on to your shopify store once you log on to your shopify store dashboard you want to click on settings on the bottom left once you click on settings on the bottom left you want to click on domains on the bottom left once more now once you click on domains you will see one option which is change to a new myshopify.com domain from here you can edit your pre-existing shopify domain which is available to you for free now if you don't want to do that and you want to connect your personal domain like we have on godaddy we've purchased our domain over here to be able to connect this domain you can click on connect existing domain or if you haven't purchased it yet you can click on buy new domain and search for a myriad of domains available on shopify as well if I search for Durden on Shopify, it's showing me that Durden.com is not available. However, it is also showing me some results that are available with the same name. However, keep in mind that the prices that you see on Shopify are usually pretty inflated. You can find a similar domain for a cheaper price on a specific domain marketplace. So I would always recommend before you search for domains on Shopify, make sure to go on ahead and do some domain marketplaces like Bluehost, GoDaddy, or any other third-party marketplace to see a suitable domain for you for a cheaper price. Now you're going to click on connect existing domain and you're going to enter the domain that you have purchased. So whatever domain it is you're going to spell it exactly as you purchased it now once you enter your domain you're going to click on next and now you can start connecting your domain so you're going to click on follow settings instructions to be able to connect your domain so there are multiple different types of domains that you can add so there are going to be different instructions for different domains now you have some requirements as well as considerations that have been noted in this Shopify article. So you're going to click on verify connection over here and you will see over here that this is the connection that you have and you have the CNAME A record and you're going to click on add domain. And you guys can see this is our domain over here, derden.store and we're going to click on this over here and you can see currently it hasn't been verified. Now you can click on delete domain to be able to actually complete your verification. We're going to do it step by step. So if you want to verify your domain, you're going to click on Durden or you're going to click on connect existing domain. Enter the domain that you want to connect, Durden.store. Then you're going to click on next. Now you're going to go into GoDaddy or your domain provider and you have your domain settings. Just head on over to domain settings to be able to see the domain settings that you have, whether or not it's renewed, what is your info on your domain, and if you want to transfer it or not. So if you want to lock domains, then none of the changes will be made. Now we don't want to lock our domain. We're just going to make sure that our domain is active. Now we can go back into our domain portfolio 
and you will see some of your protection plans, listings, as well as renewals and auto lock and privacy. I'm going to click on edit privacy and I am going to turn off our domain privacy. Now we're going to click on our domain name over here and I'm going to click on use my domain on the top right. Now I will connect to a existing site over here. Once you click on connect to a existing site, you have different destination options. Now you can forward to any site to the pre-existing domain that you have, or for Shopify, we can click on Shopify. Once you do that, you're going to click on connect domain. And now it is going to connect your domain. You guys can see it, it has some issues right now, but you can try again after a couple of seconds to be able to connect your domain. Now, this really depends on what kind of domain name you have and what is your domain name provider. It is a possibility that your domain might be down or the service provider might not have set up your domain as of yet on the servers. So you might have some glitches or bugs or issues that might temporarily pause your connection. So to be able to make sure that you don't have any of these issues, just make sure to log on to your accounts altogether and then connect your domain. Now you guys can see you have to prepare your domain for transfer. This means that it needs to be transferred or unlocked as we've already done. Then after that, you will see some of your existing domains or transferred domains. And now I'm going to re-add our domain since it has been unlocked. So if I go into my domain portfolio, you guys can see it over here. Now it's currently in a live domain, not a hidden domain anymore. And you guys can see you also have your domain is pending with the who is verifications and some domain actions are unavailable until your email address is verified. So we're going to go on ahead and make sure to verify our mail address to be able to connect our domain safely. Now, after a couple of seconds, once we have connected our domain, you guys can see this is our target store and this is going to be using our primary domain of Darden.store. Now we're going to go on ahead and click on view over here to see what our domain name is going to look like. So make sure that you have finished all of the prerequisites of setting up your Shopify domain correctly. So this is our domain currently and it's an unlocked domain and we're going to go into our DNS and from here you can also enter your records so you can add your pre-existing records or remove any of these pre-existing records as well. You also have your DNS forwarding, name servers, premium DNS and host names added. So you can click on add host name and you can go on ahead into Shopify. Now, once you go into Shopify, you can go into your primary domain and you can click on to view or you can just reconnect your domain to make this easier or click on transfer domain and you can enter your domain name over here, connect existing domain. So we're going to connect our domain manually if you are not able to do this automatically. Now, what you're going to do is you are just going to click on actions. So we have our actions ready. We have our domain name purchased and we are going to follow our instructions. And if you have made sure that you have followed all of these instructions, so to transfer your domain name, you have to enter some of your basic settings. Now to do this, you have to make sure that your authorization field codes are added. We're going to verify our connections, a record and C names. So we're going to do this on GoDaddy, of course, because that is our domain name provider. You can add host names as well. So you can just copy the at name that you have. And then you can also add your IP address like this over here and then click on save. And once you have entered the A record and C name in your GoDaddy portfolio, you can get started with building the rest of your Shopify store. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and you now you're able to connect Shopify to your actual domain that you have purchased. Make sure that you have verified your accounts on your domain provider as well to be able to fully access all of its features as well. So make sure to also leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.